hello everyone now in this lecture we have to discuss major of information now what is major of information it is the information content of the message now consider information so verse is having message capital m if this capital m is divided into number of messages that is m1 m2 up to m of n that is n number of messages are there with probability of occurrence capital p respectively p1 p2 up to pn then total probability of all messages capital p is equal to p1 plus p2 plus p of n is equal to 1 means summation or addition of all probabilities is always 1. Now, amount of information is I of K, capital I of K. Then, amount of information can be calculated using the mathematical equation as given here. That is, I of K is log base 2 into 1 upon P of K, where P of K is probability probability of that respect to information so it can be represented that log 1 upon pk divided by log 2 and information is measured in bits or unit of information is always bits so information formula is log base 2 into 1 upon pk where p is probability so, in this way, we can measure the information contained in our message. This is the equation for the information. Now, we have to discuss the, some properties of information. First property of information is more the uncertainty about message than information is more. If uncertainty is more, information is more. In last lecture, we discussed that is for uncertainty is 0.1, then highest information is there. And probability is 0.1 means what? It is 10% probability of event means 90% uncertainty is there. 90% uncertainty means it is highest. So, if probability is less, uncertainty is more and what is the property here that is more the uncertainty about message than information is more we have to prove this property suppose two messages are there m1 and m2 having probability p1 and p2 suppose p1 is 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 and p2 is 1 by 2 that is 0 0.50 that is P2 is having 50% probability and P1 is having 25% of probability. Means in 25% of probability, 75% uncertainty and in 50% probability, 50% uncertainty. So, 75% uncertainty is more. So, P1 that is P1 is having highest uncertainty that is uncertainty is called as U1. And for P2, it is called as U2. So, U1 is greater than U2. Now, we have to calculate the information content using the same formula. That is, IK is equal to log of 2 in bracket 1 upon PK, where P, PK is probability. Now, here we have to put the values. That is, we have to calculate I1 at first and after that I2. For probability, 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 respectively. Now I1 is equal to log base 2 1 upon P1. P1 is how much? It is 1 by 4. We have to put the value in the equation. That is we have to put the value of P1 is 1 by 4. So it becomes as a log 2 1 upon 1 by 4. So 1 upon 1 by 4 it becomes as a 4. So it becomes as a log base 2 4. So 4 can be denoted as 2 raised to 2. If we denote here it is as 2 raised to 2 then 2 
will be multiplying factor and it becomes as a 2 log of 2 into 2 and log of base 2 into 2 is always 1 so it becomes as a only 2 i1 becomes as a only 2 that is i1 is equal to 2 bits now we have to calculate i2 now for i2 we have to put the equation that is log of 2 1 upon p2 log of 2 1 upon p2 that is we have to put the value of p2 that is 1 by 2 so log of 2 1 upon 1 by 2 it becomes as a log of 2 and log of 2 is always 1 bit so i1 is 2 bit and i2 is 1 bit so obviously i1 is greater than i2 so information content is in message 1 is greater than information contained in message 2. Now uncertainty of our message 1 is greater. So we have proved here more the uncertainty about message than information is more. Now second property of information theory is if receiver knows message being transmitted then information is zero. Now if receiver knows the information then probability is 100% so p is equal to 1 here so we have to go for the information equation that is i of k is equal to log base 2 in bracket 1 upon p where p is how much it is 1 so we have to put the value in equation that is log of 2 1 by 1 that is log of 2 1 and log of base 2 1 is always 0 so i becomes 0 bit so here we proved if receiver knows message being transmitted then information is 0 next two properties we will discuss in next lecture thank you